Another case which was quite interesting was a, a medical-based case. This, this dog had been uh, referred to me for dog-to-dog -dog aggression. Um, it was a four and a half year old Lurcher, um, Lurcher Cross Collie. Um, she had been aggressive to dogs on walks, she'd been aggressive to dogs um, coming up to her in the park. The only dog that she wasn't aggressive to was actually a Dachshund. So that was the clue because that Dachshund couldn't jump on top of her. Um, so obviously there was maybe some pain going on there. So what I suggested was that she went for a um, X-ray of the hips and yes, bingo, um, there was some element of arthritis there. Um, and when we measured her legs after, after the um, uh, x-ray that the, there was some deficit in muscle mass on, especially on the right hand side um, she needed to lose weight um, she was on a kibble based diet so it's a piece of the jigsaw you know piece of the puzzle there that we changed the diet to help lose weight so she was fitter and could build muscle mass with combining with hydrotherapy um, and going to the pool and, and strengthen those muscles that hold the hips together um, into the pelvis now we introduce her to dogs in a, in a controlled manner muzzled um, and we're down about six months down the line now she can actually free play with dogs in a doggy daycare center situation um, so raw helped in this case to manage the weight and build muscle mass to help with those hips that are arthritic to help her get over a dog to dog aggression so from a veterinary nurse point of view I think it's an invaluable piece of the puzzle diet and the correct diet and correct nutrition in my experience I don't think that the um, the veterinary designed diets for obesity would have worked as, as well in this case um, because we really wanted a nice steady weight loss and increased muscle mass as well and I don't think the, the kibble based veterinary diets would do that job um, in this case.